This is the intro to episode eight, part two. Thank you for watching episode eight, part one. This is Shampoo. Edwin. Franjez. Jenny from the Black. And enjoy part two of episode eight. Everybody, everybody has their own battles nowadays, right? Everybody has a battle that they're battling with internally that nobody probably even knows about. And that's okay. But um, just know that you're not alone and that battle is... You're going to win that battle. Mm -hmm. What's don't scary is some people don't even know they're fighting a battle every day internally. Absolutely. That's even worse where they haven't even realized it. Yeah. They're just fighting every day and they're just going with the flow in, in robot mode. Rolling if with the punches. It, exactly. Not even realizing. Mode, yep. I'm pilot mode. That's what I meant. Mm -hmm. I'm pilot mode. Not even realizing they're fighting a battle every day. Mm -hmm. And it leads me to the next conversation. There's a popular question. Do you devote your entire life to reach happiness? Do, do you, but what if your happiness is not positive? Because everybody's happiness is something different. Some people's happiness is, let's say, is a drug. Or, or for another extreme example, eating fast food every day because it's, like, delicious and cheap. And, you know, I, I, I could do this forever. I love cheeseburgers. I love fr fried food. I love soda. That's what makes me happy. I'm just going to do this for the rest of my life because that's my happiness. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm achieving happiness every day. Yeah. There's a limit. Right. What is your happiness and is your happiness healthy? Right. What are your views on that? Um, That's a good one. That is a good, good. That, that is a good, good one. I'm over here thinking like, damn, <laughs> really I smoke gotta, weed, you, I eat yeah. McDonald's. You got to take, <laughs> take a quick mental break on yeah. that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What um, I mean, truly, if that's what makes you happy, then... Whether it's um, it's, you shouldn't think like that, but it's like, if that's what makes you happy, then just go for it. Yeah. There's a lot of things that makes people happy that are... Like, for example... A smoker might stop smoking, right? And for the most part, I'm sure this happens to a lot of people. He picks up a different habit. So instead of smoking, now he's doing something else that's probably like even worse if right, that. Right. So this is the thing that I'm talking about. Like it's it's just you know. So you think there's like a limit? Yeah, you gotta really like. I mean, it's hard, especially if you're doing the turkey, you know, cold turkey, you know, with no remorse and just really not doing anything all right so li listen to it from this perspective what if your main goal in life is to make sure your family is good but the job you chose is fucking you up let's say you're working overnight shift and i don't know if you guys know working overnight shift shaves life off years off of your life of course you know? yeah of course yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're supposed to sleep when the sun's down you're supposed to be awake when the, when sun the sun's is up. up you're doing the opposite of human nature right so you think you're doing right. Your goal is to, to to support your family forever. Right. Make sure they're all good. They grow up good. Every, all the bills are paid. The heat's on. But you're 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 killing yourself. Right. I've been doing that for a couple of days now. It's not okay. <sighs> it's limited. You know. It's limited. I'm just doing it for a limited time, and that's the way that I'm saying it. Because I'm not trying to do that forever. Right. You know. Um. But in general, when it comes to happiness and sacrifice. Absolutely. Where's your limits? Um, you need a second? You want to ask? <laughs> I, 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 I don't even know what to that's say. A that's a tough question. question. No, really that's tough. a tough question. It's bro. all super oh. subjective and all super personal to everybody's. Everybody, like, has, everybody a different... has a different like, path and everything like that. I feel like you do have to sacrifice something at some point to get to a sense of happiness or to get to the goal that you want to get to. But then you do have to look in the mirror. And if you do have a family, right? You want to be with them for as long as possible. So is this really worth it? Or can you find an alternative to maybe achieve the same kind of success so you could achieve the same kind of happiness? And there then sometimes to people get too comfortable. Comfortability they, is yeah, horrible. Yeah, they, 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 they start taking advantage. Then that's when you got to ask yourself, like, damn, am I going to keep doing this? Or, or I'm going to keep sacrificing to make other people happy just because. Like, mm -hmm. I, that's just, I don't know. It's a great question. Comfort is the devil. It is. Every everything where, where you have to progress is through struggle. Mm -hmm. You have to either learn something, which is it's not fun learning something new, putting some new information in your head. Physical, you know that. Going from not working out to working out because you want to be physically more healthy, that's right. a lot of work. A lot of people don't want to do. Right. Tell it's, me it's, about it. To me. You, you got, you, <laughs> Tell me about so it. So comfort I mean, is the, comfort is the, the worst thing. Comfort is literally the devil. When you it get is. comfortable, it's the easiest, it's the easiest it option. Is. Yeah, you it's, can it's do settling. Just like, is just easy. It's just like if your life, I mean, if your goal is to be comfortable and happy, but what if fast food because it's cheap and delicious? That's, that's your comfort. 
comfort food. Yeah. It's Com- like, I it's, mean, it's it, called it, comfort food for a reason. Exactly. Right, yeah. right, right. It's tough, man. It's a vicious cycle. Really <laughs> hit, I'm not gonna lie. I had some they yesterday, do. son. Yo, damn, bro. We do. We do. We do. You know, especially yeah. late night, bro. Like, Nobody has fritura. Am I the only one here? No, I love fritura. I love me some batata frita, longaniza. I love all that shit. All that. All that. All that. All that. I would have cheated me with cheese on it. Cheese? Tell them put fried cheese on it. Tell them put fried cheese on it. Because I like burgers with cheese. I like burgers with cheese, too. I like burgers with cheese, too. I might try that. Fried cheese. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Um. This, this, this ain't for you because you're married, but 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 dating people would have passed. Ooh, I know you got I know you got an opinion. Yeah, I, I know you got a you got an opinion for it, but you know we can all we can all talk about that. Me personally, I do not want to know anything. Really, I don't want to know if you were a prostitute. Actually, there was an amazing song by Lil Wayne. So you don't. So you don't want to. You check know the, you, you know Lil Wayne well. You don't want to check the whole facts. Prostitute how? flanks. You know that song. You don't want to what now? What did I, you I just wouldn't say? care. The, whole facts. Yo, yo, the, the, the hook is. I wouldn't <laughs> care if you were a prostitute, and then you hit every man that you ever knew, as long as that was before me and you. Oh, that, that's Lil Wayne's. That's the hook in that song. You Wait, say that again. Prostitute yeah, flanks. Yeah, I wouldn't care if you were a prostitute. And that you hit every man that you ever knew, as long as that was before me and you. Right. Okay. I, I agree on that. I, I agree on know. that. I'd rather, I'd rather not. not. I'm gonna be honest. I don't, I don't care. Listen. I don't. You could tell me everything that you did. I can't change the past. You You're did right. it already. No, but it's not, it's not changing the past. Is you might look at that person differently. But why would I judge you though? Why am I? Why am I? Ju- I mean, that, that's every, you. Everybody's different. I mean, everybody's different. I, different. Yeah. I, will, I wouldn't. I don't. I don't. But, I'm not but, judging. But here's the thing, though. Like, what if you end up marrying this person? So then you love them then. Hold on. And then you end up and finding out. And that person ran a train on your mans. Nah, you see this. That's Divorce. Why, <laughs> that's why you gotta do the whole facts. I Divorce. Don't know. <laughs> uh, you see, you killed that's everything. That's why you gotta Divorce. see the value of the, the nah, marriage contract. Man, you, yo, listen, you that's why I don't wanna know nothing. <laughs> you, nah, I wanna know everything. Everybody man. gotta pass. I, wanna, I don't I wanna, wanna know, know nothing. I wanna know everything. I wanna know everything. You've been through everything. You went through it. I, I wanna know everything. I, I, I just, I can't judge you. Because yeah. you, I wasn't there. Well, I wasn't you in your life. A thousand relationships, whatever. I mean, I might not take it serious though. <laughs> God damn. But, but it's the no, past, though. It is the past. It's I, okay. the past. If, I, I, listen, like you really got to be a really special and amazing person to change that from. Like, so my you really brain. think ho- you can't turn a hoe into a housewife or Come any on. of that? You know what's I've funny? Seen it. We're, we're, we're seeing it. some hoes settle down. I'm not gonna say no. I've seen it. I've seen hoes I've settle seen down. It. What's funny is we're seeing the difference between men and women. <laughs> <laughs> She's okay with knowing, I'm no okay problem. With it. I want to know. Like, Maybe uh, we can relate. Who knows? Yeah, but, you know? yeah, but it changes your perspective. She said, "Ah, oh, the past, yeah. the past." The past is the past. The past is the past. Absolutely, the past is the past. But Yo. I don't want it if you're, you. You gotta look past boy, it though. Listen, you gotta even. I right, remember. For example, let me say this. My boy, right? I'm not gonna say his name. Good, <laughs> good. I'm never gonna say his name. My boy, right? He 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 dated some. Well, not even. He didn't date this girl. He actually like he had sex with this girl, right? And whatever. Um, down the line, just like down the line, I ended up dating this girl. Right? They they never had her since. It was it was not even a relationship. It was like a one night stand kind of deal. So it was not really nothing. You know what right. I mean? So. I ended up dating this girl, and when she really wanted to become serious, I kind of I said, I can't. I can't. I'm like, I, I wasn't even supposed to be in this shit. I'm out of here. You know? And that's what I mean. Like, no, nah, I feel that. I feel like know, when it gets personal like that, yeah, like if this is my boy. Yeah, like if, if my boy slept with you, like yeah. even if you're a beautiful person and you Potentially could have been my wife. <laughs> yeah. uh, we, we agree on the same thing. I How do you feel I about that? I cannot rock with you. I'm sorry. If it's somebody like your your home girl, if when you had friends, like somebody so you know close you to you, exactly. If if, if it's somebody that you really don't fuck with, whatever. Yeah. You know, it is what it is. But they they had sex. But with somebody your like girl. your best friend. Yeah. Are you gonna rock with that? Like your best friend slept with your husband? You gonna be okay with that? Is that okay? 
Nah. I mean, it's it's not okay, but what can I do? It well, happened. Would you take him serious? Yeah, though? I mean, yeah, I can't wow. judge. I can't. Ooh, that's, okay, that's I right. cannot judge you off of that. Oh, I cannot judge you off of that. Between men and women is being wow. short right I, here. I personally awesome. would rather have a shorty with some experience because I don't want to be with somebody who's curious about. So let me things, ask you. But not. I've been dying though. to ask you a man this. Know. Not exactly. And especially your you friends. You rather exactly. have an experienced woman or a virgin? I'd rather have experience because I don't want her to be curious while she's Well, it depends on where you are in life. Virgin or experience. Listen, I'm virgin into, or experience? I, I'm into all the women too. So <laughs> answer the question <laughs> though. This, this is this is re- answer the t- question though. I take both, son. I'm saying you can't both do both. Room. You I'll can't both. I can't. I Listen, can't. I, I can't. put them both in the same room. <laughs> I'll take both. Here's one. How can you take both? How is that even possible? He <laughs> wants a threesome, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that too. What I'm saying is, look, if you're a virgin, yes, great. That's beautiful. Show me that her. means. You, you're quite like you worth that much, right? Now, if you got some mileage, you could be, you know, you a Bentley. <laughs> <laughs> you could be a Bentley, which means you're a bad bitch. But you're a 2006 Bentley with a little bit of mileage. You, you understand what I'm saying? Like people still buy the car. People will, and and people will still fuck that girl, and that's what I'm trying to say. Now, are people gonna? Get but people don't change. People change. Of course, absolutely. There's some hoes that you know. People change. Okay, look. This is the It's gonna go off forever. No, no, just no, no, show look. me. Just show me that you change, and maybe <laughs> I won't think about you like that. Listen, look. Show me the whole facts, and we talk about it. Okay? You know how we were talking about the imprint parents have on children and your upbringing. Mm-hmm. Yes. Same thing with your whole life. If you're a hoe, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You're a hoe. H O E. Okay. Ho, ho, ho ho life. life. Okay, okay, okay. That is what you lived through. That is what you know. That is who you are on the inside. Yes. People don't change. They just grow up and their their mindset sure. might change a little bit. You they mature. You're a retire hoe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Exactly. But you know exactly what the hell is going on. You yeah. know what you've been through. You know what you're capable of whenever you want. Perfect is I'm a car That's person, the so difference. I'm always That's the big to difference. Cars. It's like you buying a perfectly looking perfectly good looking car, but it was an Uber before. Mad people ran through. That's what I'm saying. Are you gonna feel the same way about that car? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> Talk about it. Are you gonna feel the know. same way about that car? The past is the past. No, honey. <laughs> It you look depends. Good and it depends. You been ran it through, depends. You know, like it depends. How many brake changes have you been through? Like how many? Oil I mean, it's changes? different how for many? women because men are men. Y'all do what y'all do. We can't. What are we gonna do about that? Absolutely. You do what you do too. You know what I mean? But, but yeah, we're talking from my perspective. Men, I, I, I date women, men, so w- I can only do, speak women from that. Do it better. Fuck smart, which is true. Body. Which is true. But well, it's I'm, like I'm glad you admitted that. You, which is true. But it's like. This is the human nature. This is what y'all do. Yeah, damn right. So what? Can, yeah. What can I do about that? I ain't God. I can't change it. Nah. I can't. Your best bet is to stay single forever. <laughs> That's the only way you'll be I'm happy. I'm actually not single, but no. Oh, no, no, no. I want to do Congratulations! Congratulations! Shit. But two weeks ago you were like, no, yes. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Two weeks ago. <laughs> well, Fuck that. Relationships ain't shit. Two weeks later, I'm in a relationship. Like, I'm yo, yo, perfect example. <laughs> To what you just said <laughs> and to what just happened. I'm Life. giving it a try. Hold I'm on, trying on, here. I'm glad. I'm glad. Love is beautiful. <laughs> when, when, it's, when it's real, it's beautiful. I was just giving it to the wrong, yeah, wrong yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I realized what you just said. Life comes at you fast. It does. God damn. Two weeks. <laughs> two weeks. <laughs> two weeks ago. Mindset change. Then you say shit. Uh, I ain't say all that now. No, I'm just. I'm just <laughs> all right, I, I, I'm spicing it up a little bit. Yeah, but you yeah, know yeah. Hundred percent. You know, it was the conversation. Things change. Is what but I'm saying. No, but listen, it's a beautiful thing. It's called absolutely, growth. Absolutely, absolutely. So it's called growth. So I, I'm not, I got a question to to verify shit for a lot of people out there. From a female, when a female tells a man, "I'm a bad texter," what does that really mean? Please tell the world. I'm a bad texter. I'm kind of ignoring you. She's not interested. I'm Thank telling you right God. now. I'm kind of ignoring you. I hope this you. helps so many people if out you, there. If, you, if yeah. you catch my attention, I'm like this. Exactly. 
and everybody's but, on their phone all day, every all day. That's why. That's why I hate no when people No such thing be as like, bad texting. There is, Verification there right there here. There isn't. There isn't. And I hate when people be like, they get anxiety off of text messages, but you be on the gram. But anxiety, you be on Facebook. Like, There's no way you didn't see my message what, what if you you're mean, on your phone. What do you mean you get it? Like, illiterate what you said. It's, it's prioritizing. Why would you get anxiety? It's there's prioritizing. People, it's, an excuse it's an because, excuse because you prioritize your life. Right. You prioritize who you respond to. Right. You prioritize when you wake up, if you hit the snooze, if you go to work, if you call out, if okay. you go on vacation, if you if you go to the family event, you prioritize there's your whole life. But people make make excuses when it's like, damn, my mom might feel bad. My friend might feel bad. That guy that's talking to me might feel bad. So they make up fucking excuses and lies. It's true. It's true. I think honestly, it's true. I think it's bullshit when people be like, "Oh, I didn't see your message. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, just please. you saw it. Right. You saw it. You saw my phone call. You saw my message. I've seen you on Instagram. You know. You know what really grinds my gears when I'm talking to a guy and he ignores me, but then I see him on social media. Can you pour any louder, motherfucker? <laughs> Shit. Like, it's a I, directional mic. It wouldn't have hurt it. <laughs> it it's just, it, I, that really grinds my gears because I, you're literally ignoring me and, you play, and you're insulting my intelligence. That's exactly it. So a lot of people actually just take it. You know that, right? All right, you're a bad texter. Okay, cool. I'll just wait around maybe like a bitch. Maybe you're busy or maybe yeah. you're doing this. Yeah. I'm a mom. Just, Get excuses I'm a mom, for them. and I work. And no, I, you're a mom? Rewind back to <laughs> self-love. Do you wait around for these motherfuckers to actually say, oh, I'm a bad texter, I'll text you when I get to you? Or do you say, no, nah, fuck it, I'm worth more than that, fuck you. <laughs> Straight up, that's how it should be. Honestly, if fuck you that. value yourself more, you will be that way. Like, exactly, you exactly. Say. Everybody should value the themselves. Thing is, 100%. I myself included. Sometimes we don't value ourselves the way we should be valuing ourselves. Hundred percent. That we do think the other way, and you're like, "Damn, why is this person like? What did I say something wrong?" Mm -hmm. Like you kind of question your whole being. Yeah. And it's like it's not about you. It's about whatever it is they doing. Like they probably don't fuck with you exactly like, like that or whatever it is. You know. So it's cool. So, <laughs> or not. This, the, the, the beautiful. Thing about this dynamic now that we know she's in a relationship is that we're single. You're single, right? Yes, sir. We're single, and you guys are in a relationship. So we get the view from both sides, especially female. So when it comes to your significant other having an opposite sex best friend, so your wife having a male best friend, your man having a female best friend, how do you feel about that? Go. Impossible. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if, if my wife. Well, I mean, I, I'm not married. If my significant <laughs> other... Thank you for elaborating that. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, if my significant other was to have a male best friend, I don't think that would sit right with me. Because, let's keep it real, guys. Eventually, some way, some shape or form, that guy want to put the D on that. Since day one. And Since that's what I'm saying. Course. So, like... We get like, like I have male. I, I mean, not male. I have female <laughs> friends. I have female friends that I'm cl for a long time. Right. But we don't have a relationship like that. Like we speak every now and then, and you know, you gotta keep it. You gotta keep it cordial. You know, you gotta keep it. You know, professional, as they say. The two of you aren't going to the movies no. once a month. No, nah. it's not that type of friendship. Nah, like we cool. You know how the kids, how does everything. Blah, blah, blah. We might even do like a party together, like you know, kids party together, or something like that. But it's not about like it can't it's be not that. A, it can't be a close relationship. It can't be that. You, I mean, out of respect for your significant other, it cannot be that. You know, like how it looks like you, your man, right, goes out with he got a female best friend. And they going on a, on a to the restaurant. They going to, to brunch the afterwards. Bottomless brunch. Y'all making it. me feel so guilty right now. It Talk will make you it. really uncomfortable. <laughs> Talk about because it. Because I have a best friend and he's a guy. Okay. I've known him since high school. Okay. And have you ever had sex? Never, never, never. Do you think he wants sex? No. He's going through his own thing right. Now. Like he, I'm one hundred percent sure he wants to fuck you. 
No, 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 no. I'm with you on that. And then, and then, it's hundred percent. The guy that I'm dating and him, they're they're cousins. They're 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 cousins. Like they grew up with it. He went. He went for you. To slip up. No. Men are disgusting. No, no, I promise no, you. No, 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 I promise no. you. Yo, I promise you. Men are disgusting. Myself included. Men will wait 40 I, years to be something. <laughs> I promise I, you. Men you will know, wait 40 you know years to be something. Just for that perfect opportunity. Just you for know, that perfect opportunity. When yeah. when they when they've been friends for 40 years and finally she drops that that wall, he's all in. I promise you. Which I, I, I can't blame y'all. That's why I'm against that bullshit. I can't blame y'all because I've been in that situation before where my friend wanted to have sex with me. You thought he was your friend, but he but wasn't your friend. Right, right. And then when, when I didn't want to, then you don't want to be my friend anymore of now. Of course. Yeah. Because I was in a relationship, and I'm not doing that to my... One thing about me, when I'm in a relationship, I'm locked down. I'm faithful, 100%. Yo, you just said this? She's from the Bronx, right? <laughs> <laughs> Where you yeah, from? I think really, from the Bronx, you're yo. from here, bro. Yonkers? Yeah, from Yonkers. So what's this mean? <laughs> no, locked down, like, you know what I mean? Locked down. <laughs> that means she partly from the Bronx. <laughs> but she really I, when, down I, for when, I, when I'm in a relationship, I'm all in. I'm all for you. And there's there's no, I'm tunnel vision all way. about you. Not thinking about no other guy. Not giving no other guy attention. I, so how are you and your, is he your best friend, that male? Yeah, he's my best friend. So like how, last how, night, how do like you hang last out? Night, like last night, me, him, and my son went out to eat together. Okay. And what happened afterwards? Nothing. I took him home and I went to go see my man after. That's it. How you, man, how you man feel about yeah, that? How, how you man feel about that? He's, that's, like I said, that's his cousin. Oh, oh yeah. right, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you trust him, right? How you not? How you not trust right. him? You, you know can't what trust I mean? another man. If blood or not? Blood, blood or not? Uh, uh, one thing: right. if yeah, if I don't, I wouldn't mind if my man had a best friend that was a girl. If shit ain't weird. If I see weird shit, you always jumping up for her and doing this for her and doing that for her. What the fuck are you Pay doing? Her like, rent, what are you, you know, doing? Like, what, <laughs> what's going? Like, now I'm gonna start looking. Or if you had a, if if the best friend wasn't from years ago, she just came in the picture. Yeah. I'm going to look at that sus. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. But if it was a friend that you had since like high school, I'm not going to look you at that. You can't control I, that. You know what I mean? Uh, whatever. I'm a, I'm a big believer that everything comes to light. So okay. if y'all did something, if y'all, and I feel energy too, it's going to come to light. One way or another, it's going to come to light and I'm going to find out and that's it. But whatever I don't know won't kill me. Yo, can you put the light on her? Because I want the light to come out. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear it all. You know what I mean? That's just that's just, that's just how I, I'm, I've been through a lot, y'all. So before we wrap it up, I want to tell y'all about this show that I've been watching called The Oval. It's yeah, a crazy it's, show. It's, it's a crazy. It's a little, tell us about it. It's a little crazy. It's crazy. It's yeah. a crazy show. But I, I haven't watched it lately though. Two scenes popped out on me from the show that I wanted to talk about on Let's the show. It. Let's do it. First. Um, so basically the show is about people that work at the White House and they do crazy, crazy things. And there's this couple, they've been married for like 15 plus years and they work a lot. Like, you know, they, they're, they're t the wife was basically they're in bed. The, the man, her husband has been horny. He wants to have sex with his wife yeah. and she's like, I'm tired. I'm just so tired. I'm Putting just so lipstick. <laughs> this conversation just, got good. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm so. I think he might make out with Jenny. After <laughs> no, 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 no. This shit is going. This shit is weird. All of a sudden, I like unavailable women. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> you know what? Nah, 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 women like that shit too. <laughs> of course. Continue with this conversation. Yeah, so, we, we, so, can, we can talk about that. One. <laughs> so her man has been dying to have sex. He's okay. been super horny. Wants to have sex with it. That's his wife. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta give it to him. And she was like, no, I'm tired, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, damn, like, you really about to do this to me, blah, blah. She, she made it seem like it wasn't a big deal. Like, they could just go to sleep. Like, it's not that deep. Yes. We could do it another Run day. Run off and go to sleep. She sees it from her perspective. That's what she's in her head. Right, that's, right, right. That, that's real life shit, too. When it see, is, when it is. see it from their perspective. Like, I'm not horny. Why are you horny? Relax. Yeah. You know what? And it's yeah. like, we're, ma we're married. You can get it any other day, and blah, blah, blah. But it's like. We really go through that. Yeah, 100%. Like, honestly, and then to the point that. After a certain amount of time, you feel like, yo, do you even fucking love me? Like, why are we in this fucking yeah, relationship? Though? Real shit. Let her finish, though, real quick. I want to yeah, hear that. Yeah, sorry. So, like, she was taunting him about it. Like, they, were, they went to work, and she was, like, making fun of him about it, like, not taking it serious or whatever. And he was getting mad. Like, you think, you, you think this shit is funny? 
Like you think you think this is not funny. Like this is I'm going through something and you're supposed to help me out and you're not. And then she jumps up like her friend was going through some shit the same night that they that she that he wanted to have sex and she dubbed him. Her friend came over and and was going through some shit with her man and blah 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 and like this she and helped she him. Time. Like she's, this she's she had good. time for that. It was so real that he didn't know that her friend came over and he came out naked. Oh. And when he seen the friend, he was like, oh, shit, what's you? I didn't know, I didn't know. You know what I mean? It's, and and then to, to me, it's like, that's not even fair. Because if the shoe was on the other foot, a female's going to be like, oh, you fucking somebody else? Oh, you don't want me no more? And blah, 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 blah. So it's like, I just want to know. I know y'all. Yeah, yeah, what's the question? I'm ready. Interesting that you said that. No, I, 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 want, I want to hear a question. I want to hear a question. Yeah. Do you think that she would, that the female was wrong? Or do you think that the, that the husband was wrong? Do you think that he was ODing? Like, do you think that he was dragging it, or do you think that you know, like, like who who's right and who's wrong? Like the episode seven, I was preaching human nature. Same shit. Men are definitely by nature more horny than than, than most women. Most men. I'm talking about majorities here. Majority of men are more horny than most women, especially as age progresses. Mm -hmm. So she's right for standing her ground and saying, "I don't want sex." Right. And he's right for expressing he wants sex. But with civilization, marriage, and expectations, and promises, years pass, you don't, you don't want the same promises. Right. That's why marriage is ridiculous to me. Right. Yeah. Human nature, men want to fuck all day, every day, to the day they die. Women, eventually, their sex drive diminishes a little less. So, so to, to keep a union forever is insane to me now. And now I'm seeing shit clearly. So none of them are wrong. They're living their truth. And the marriage... The society, civilization, the courts, the government, they put that stress on. Don't cheat. Don't don't give in to your natural habitat. Give in to civilization. Don't cheat. Then you know what's even funnier? He met up with the with the first lady. She called for him in the bathroom. Cause she can tell that he's, you know, wants some. And she was like arousing him in the bathroom. He ain't even stop her. He did until she started trying to give him Felatio? Yeah. Okay. And then he, he did stop her and was like, I'm a married man and blah, 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 blah. But then when he went outside, his wife seen him with a, with a heart on it. She's like, but it's like, girl, what did you expect? If he yeah. ain't going to get it from you, he going to get it from somebody Absolutely. else. Absolutely. And to his defense, that might be a quick nut. He might not even be interested in that person. Right. But he's, he, he got something to get off. and you're Of not course. Yep. And. You know, women think like, oh, just rub one off. It's not the fucking same. It's not the same. After a certain time of you jerking off, you know, I mean, uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I gotta be so graphic. Talk sorry. about it. Talk we grow. about it. We all grow. We all really grow. Real. Yeah, straight After up. After a certain amount of being jerking off, like, yo, like, I, I need some pussy, bro. Like, what the fuck? Like, like you might as well just girl. throw me in jail. Throw me in jail. I don't know about throw me in jail, though. But <laughs> for real, like, you know, like, it's like, just like you guys need. Your pads every month, right? This is what we need. Uh, you know, maybe maybe and, I'm different because I I like to please my man. I like to make my man well, happy. You're you're you're. Let me just alliterate that. <laughs> you're not in the majority. A lot of women are not like that, especially nowadays in like the new. Generation. Wait, wait, wait! But what's your longest relationship? Because that that's all. That's also another thing. People that've been together for twenty plus years, it's different. Have you had a 20 plus year relationship? Hell no. That's what I mean. So it, it is different. Okay. The first maybe 10, maybe 20 years, it's hot and heavy, but it diminishes slowly. Right. Eventually, the, the man don't diminish. You're being really... <laughs> he said I ne I've never been in a long term relationship. A, a man wants it till the day he dies. I think after like three, four. There you go. Like, fuck this There guy. you go. Like, yo, like... There you go. Dude. For real? Then, That's why human nature is hey, not. My, what do you feel about not, that? It's not with it. I, I agree with everything he's saying right now. <laughs> Boom. That's why you're quiet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Your boy's speaking fast. Yeah. That's I had nothing to add. I was then, to that. Before I before we ended, there was another scene in the uh, in the show that stood out to me. So there was another married couple. They was married. They've been married for twenty plus years. Her man. We used to used to be in the army. So w when he was on tour, basically she came clean and said that her nephew isn't really her nephew, it's her son. Oh. And then he started, like, putting the pieces together. He was like, well, I was over there, so who who, and what? He was asking questions, and she didn't want to answer not one of them. What's the question? 
So, so he, he what he asked her, "Who's the dad?" And she was like, "I can't tell you. I can't tell you." Would you divorce? Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. he Yo, honestly, listen. I, no, I commend yeah. him because Yo, you, you have to watch That's the show. Real shit. He commend. I commend him because she was trying so hard. She was getting back. He kicked her out. Changed the locks. Yo, everything took the money out of the savings accounts. Everything, 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 and she was still trying. She wasn't giving him his space. He wanted. She wanted him to get over it like this. But of if the course. Sh- but if the shoe was on the other foot, yeah, that would. She would have been at the courthouse. Hey, how much can I get? Yeah, thanks. So my fifty percent. I heard. <laughs> so if you was in, <laughs> would you have? Can react- I get sixty? <laughs> I'll settle for forty eight ninety nine today. It's, I don't even know if I have a question. It was just, it was just, just sharing how sick people are. You know what I mean? But it's a show at the end of the day. But dude. it happens in real life. But it happens in real life. It is reality. It is reality. She literally was like, shit. "I can't tell you that. I can't tell you that. I can't tell you that." Like, what you mean? What you mean you can't tell me that? Yeah. And and she and she was trying to cook him dinner. That's real shit. She was trying to. She All was. She hasn't. How long has she? Yo, when's the last time she cooked? First of all, I didn't see her cook the whole show. That's what I'm saying. Until up yo, until then. That's what I'm <laughs> sure. when, up until yo, then. Women do everything when they're in the hot seat. Like, give you a massage. Head, what you want? Sex, everything. everything. <laughs> everything. They, they, yo, when they, it's they, over, it's yo, over. The, it's like, where you been all my life? This is yeah, like, I'll marry you yeah, today. Yeah. You know? 10 and, years in, what you got? Shut the fuck up. That's the end of the episode. <laughs> Shut up. Thank you, everybody, for watching. This is the short end of the stick. Also, it is a part two episode. Tune in for t- part one. Um, thank you, everybody, for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe. Please. And leave the comments what other scenarios or situations or events or anything you want us to talk about when we talk about it on the pod. Thank you for watching. Till next time.